All right, guys, John, Chicken Ship Farms, and Sophie just peeked around the corner. Uh, here making a video about tackle boxes. Wish I was out using the tackle boxes, but I'm not. So I'll let you see what we found out here. All right, guys, these are three tackle boxes from our local Walmart. They're each a small tackle kit. I said we've got an Eagle Claw brand here. Um, this actually uses a flambeau box. This is an all-American tackle kit, that's what it was called. Also uses a flambeau box. And this is a plano. Also, as far as we can tell, it's just plano. That's the box. The tackle inside is uh, going to be your off-brand stuff. So we're going to take a look at all three and let you know what we think of them. Uh, they all have pros and cons, so you can make up your own mind here of what you think of them. All right, guys, we got everything opened up here. I said the the small Eagle Claw kit. This was a 55-piece kit, I believe. This is a single single tray box. The flambeau from the All American Tackle kit, two tray box, and the Plano. This was a 70-piece kit, also a two tray box. All right, guys. I said once again, these are not all equally priced the eagle claw here was 22 dollars and some change the plano was also 22 dollars and some change the all-american tackle kit was the highest priced one here at 33 dollars so let's take a little bit look at what we get inside the eagle claw obviously came with eagle claw tackle which is a nice a nice touch. I said there were some things in here that we really liked, especially with the the line, getting some fishing line here. Uh, for I say if you're you're on a trip and you didn't bring your rods or anything, you could rig up a cane pole quick and start fishing. I mean, if you got kids, sometimes they like to fish with a little string on their fingers. Just uh, things we do. So that was nice to see that. Definitely with Eagle, Hall, Eagle Claw branded items, you're getting some better quality than you're going to get with uh, No Name Tackle. Well, I said there's uh, there's some good quality stuff in here with the weighted jig heads. This is something I really think they could have just left out because I, mean, I would like to see some better bobbers or something instead of making this. This is just, you, you don't need that. This was also a big pro for us. Uh, this this kit here is set up more for your your live bait fishing or or live I should say it's not live yeah live bait for um, you know worms and things like that. Um, this came with some little trout hooks. This is the only kit that had these small trout hooks in it, which is awesome, especially up here if you're up here by us. Uh, some of the North Carolina rivers, some of the the Tennessee rivers, some of the rivers up here by us in, in uh, northeast Georgia, northwest Georgia. You want to fish for trout. This is pretty awesome, especially if you're here on vacation. So it was nice to see some small trout hooks in here. That was very, very, very nice. Well, like we said, it's not really geared up. It's got some plastics in here. But, you know, nothing, aside from that Senko-style worm there, there's nothing really impressive here. Uh, there's one little swim bait in here that might be, but other than that, nothing too impressive. Uh, having something to cut your line, that was pretty cool. I mean, most of us carry a knife, a pair of scissors, uh, nail clippers all work. But it's pretty cool to see one of these in there. Uh, you had a decent, you had a decent little selection of weights. This one came with bullet weights, which was nice considering that we had a few worms. But what it didn't have was any worm hooks. So there's nothing in here, no offset worm hooks at all in this kit. So that that was said so we got this. That's the closest thing we got. And some swivels, nice big swivels. 
all the well, some of these hooks we use for catfish and then we did get three of those so we're happy about that but you know it's mostly your brim and stuff like that uh the bobbers were awful probably the worst actually they were the worst bobbers out of all the tackle boxes that we saw with these terrible but the hooks and everything were great the tackle box is not a not a bad little box it's uh, small definitely good for you know traveling let's say on vacation something like that this is perfect and it has the, the little upper compartment here it's nice and deep the door doesn't fall off we'll, we'll get to that in a minute the door doesn't fall off you close it nothing pops up it's a nice little kit I said this is the Eagle Claw 55 piece or no 50 53 piece kit here and we'll take a look at our most expensive box here this is the all-american tackle kit it's also used a flambeau box a couple things the quality of this box is not good um, definitely one of the cons when we did the video on this box the lid when we would open the lid we're like oh it's very nice it's got a nice deep compartment just like the eagle claw kit did uh, but when you close it the pop it pops up here you gotta push that back down and there so something binds up and it causes it to pop loose back here now we're going to take a look at that we think we can fix it but it's just the the, the workmanship on this box is is awful it's just not something you you want to see but inside this box had some of the the best tackle out of the group as far as the quality of the tackle inside was was excellent the eagle claw came in very close second because it has some good stuff in it too the hooks and everything are, are great bobbers garbage and some other things in there that really didn't need to be in there but in this kit we did get we got a couple egg sinkers which was nice and we got a couple bullet weights the difference between this box and that box was we actually do have a couple offset worm hooks very nice we also got two different uh, sizes of split shots here we got some of the small I think this is size six hooks and these are these are nice they actually have the the bait keeper barbs on them I don't know if you can see those and we got some of these small hooks that we use for crappie and stuff especially fishing with uh, like grass shrimp or small minnows it did come with a couple, only two though, only two of the, the well we use these for catfish. I'm sure there's some other uses for them. And it came with some larger bait keeper hooks. Now we use these when we're bass fishing too, especially if we're fishing with shiners or uh, minnows, things like that. We use, This is the style hook we use. So that was nice. And a couple decent size weighted jig heads. Now, no spinner or anything like that. No beetle spins. Nothing like that in this box. So that was kind of a heartbreaker. Now we did have... Sorry. The best bobbers out of the group by far. These are nice quality fill bobbers. We got two different sizes here. And I said the best best bobbers out of all the boxes by far was in this box. This box also had two finesse style hooks, which was nice. This is nice to see that. I don't even get most of the time two of those in my mystery tackle box. Also, got half a dozen quality inline swivels. Very nice. I said in the Eagle Claw just had those quick connects 
and no swivels. This came with swivels, no quick connects, but this is these are something that we use a lot, so we're glad to see those. A couple things we could have done without. I know some people could probably use this. This is a little guide about how to fish. Uh, I say we could have done without it, but we never opened this up and took a look at it. There's probably some really good information in here that might might do some people good, especially if they're fishing for some fish that they've never fished for before. There might be something good in there. Baits. This box also came with some of the best plastic baits out of all of them. Here with your Senko styles, you got four different Senko worms here, two different styles. You've got a, what looks like an eight inch twist tail worm. You've got uh, the six inch curl tail worms here. You have some decent swim baits here that you can use with your jig head or your, uh, well, any of these you can use with the finesse hooks. But yeah, you can use some of those with that. And it's a good quality company here. Nice baits. Definitely uh, not a bad box. Could be a little cheaper. I would like to see it a little bit cheaper or in a, a better box. This box is, you know, so it's got its issues. But has some nice, nice quality stuff in here. And the two-tone look of the box was really neat. I like that. So, so not a bad kit. Just the uh, box is not so great. I definitely, I said this. We're going to try to straighten that out. Uh, but it's, it's just ridiculous. All right, next. We got the Plano. Uh, the Plano box is definitely my favorite box out of the boxes. Uh, even though it doesn't have the top compartment, I do like the top compartments on, on these two better. Uh, but I like this style box. I like the, the two tray. I like having all the different dividers here on the top and the second row. Obviously, I haven't used any of them yet, but here they are. They split up these rows here and up here and this center one. That's nice. Uh, quality of this box is far and away better than the Flambeau. No matter how you look at it, definitely a better box. Feels better, looks better. Just, like I said, it's got these very small compartments here, but, you know, that's fine. At least the box is... A decent box. It's not trying to fall apart on you when you close it. Uh, it doesn't have pieces hanging off of the side here. It opens up nice and smooth like it's supposed to. And it has nice dividers too. So, the downside of this kit. Uh, nothing, nothing in here is great. Okay, it's, it doesn't have the quality that the, the Eagle Claw... Tackle has the Eagle Claw hooks, uh, the fill bobbers, the, the Yum style baits that are in here. Some of the hooks that are in here are nice, the finesse hooks, great. But this is not a bad kit for the money, guys. Especially with the, you know, you get a decent box. A lot of you guys are going to throw the this, this stuff that comes in here away. You're not going to throw away your hooks that you get in here. You're not going to throw away your plastics in here. You're going to use this stuff. Your hooks and weights and everything that you've got in here. Your fill bobbers. You're going to use all that stuff. A lot of the stuff you get in here, you're going to throw away. But there's still some nice little little pieces in here. Inline spinner. The only kit that had an inline spinner in it was the Plano kit. And it's a nice little spinner. This, These, me and my son have caught hundreds of fish off these little inline spinners especially up here with us we've caught trout we've caught small bass we've caught brim we've caught everything on them a spoon this is something I, I really think they should throw in all these kits one of these small spoons these are great i mean this is probably one of the the best lures out there as far as we're concerned these, these things if you you get up on some fish feeding somewhere you're going to catch 
almost well you're gonna i've caught specks i've caught small amount large amount bass everything with these well, especially if you catch them feeding great baits this kit had a couple beetle spins in it at least that's what we call these beetle spins two different colors uh swim baits you had the white with the white head or you could switch them out and here's the one we have with the yellow with the yellow head I said you can switch these out but it was it's just nice to see these I said it's a lighter jig head than what you saw with uh, the all-american kit here but still nice to see that uh, bobbers these are good for I guess minnow and very small brim but they're still a better even though they're small they're still better quality than what we saw in the the eagle claw kit they're not you know the, the thrills but it's still they're they'll work they're they're decent they're put together they don't look like they're gonna sink on you know, like some of these look like they're gonna sink when they hit the water these are not that way you got some cheapo almost like a 10 weight but you do have some split shots that's nice this kid also had some little small quick connects. Yeah, little small quick connects with a swivel. It has some small hooks, very small. This is uh, a little big for some of the trout in the area that we have, but it's perfect for. Uh, you know, fishing for brim, yellow perch, things like that around here. These are great, great size for that. And right here, these are some of the smallest offset hooks I've seen. It's got some worm hooks in here. Very small, but it does have some worm hooks. So I guess, but this is the only style of plastics that came with this kit was these which we were going to use with the, the spinner. We'll probably use some of those with uh, without the spinner on some of those offset hooks. There's also these. I don't know. They're little split tail jigs. I've personally never caught anything but tree limbs with this, but I have seen people do quite well with them. It's just not me. And some small weighted jig heads for those as well. also came with it was the only kit that came with four inch jerk bait not the highest quality but definitely not the lowest quality I've seen out there as far as these included jerk baits it's not a bad looking looking kit I mean I know I've I've done some videos on here where the barbs are missing on hooks and everything with some of these but this is actually not a bad looking bait uh, I've, I've never used this color, but I mean, I'm going to try it. Let's see. I want to see how it, how it looks in the water, how it swims. But it was the only, this is the only kit that came with one of those. It also came with these small, <laughs> those hooks that came with this are probably not going to work for this guy. They're, they're really small, but, uh, these are like some three and a half inch just black there's no flake uh, little curl tail worms nothing special just four of those and I think you guys could say correct me if I'm wrong put something down in the comments but I think this is a D hooker because I really don't know what what it actually is never seen one before it's the first one I've ever seen but this came in a kit as well not a bad kit I said the not you're not getting a high quality that you saw with some of these other boxes here, but you're getting a very nice selection in this box. And this these these things here will catch fish. They definitely will. These are things that do work. So that's nice to see. When one of these kids it's yes, you may throw some of this stuff away, but there's some stuff in here. I mean there's stuff in here that you're going to keep 
And for the price point of this box, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I said this is $20, $22 and some change for this box. Definitely the best quality box of the three by far. The, the tackle box itself is excellent. And some of the, the stuff inside, not so bad either. The Eagle Claw. Uh, for the price point of this box, I would probably... I'm probably going to say that this is probably your second best bet i mean either one of these you're gonna go you're gonna do just fine you get a better box here uh but you get some pretty good tackle in here you really do there's some good stuff in here uh there's stuff in here that doesn't make any sense but there was uh there's some good stuff having some line in here was good having these small hooks for for uh trout and stuff like that already in the box was great Having a different, uh, all the different style hooks here was fantastic. The, the bullet weights, everything in there. These are not so great, but I mean, it's not so bad. But I said, I definitely like this one for the box and the different styles of baits that you're getting in here. This is a great buy, in my opinion. This is also a good buy, especially being at the same price point as these two once again i like the, the box here better i'm probably gonna say this is a winner as far in my opinion this is probably gonna be your second best bet as far as uh, the amount of things that you get in here at the price point these are both under 23 dollars at 33 uh i don't like this box i mean it's it'll work it's just, I like, like the look of it. It's a good looking box, but it's just the quality is garbage. But the tackle in here, it's got some good stuff in it. It does. Do I think you can do better at that price point? Yes. Either one of these boxes. I would probably go with this one because I like the box better. But you could take... I said $22 and some change, $33. You got another $10, you can buy some more stuff and throw in these boxes. You can probably get some of the stuff that's already in here and throw in these boxes. So it's still it's a nice kit, still a decent kit. I think it should be a little better. If it had a better box, I'd probably say it's a little, little more with it. I mean, if you put it in this box, now you got something. Because this is definitely a better built box than this. But these are my opinions, guys. Uh, do with it as you will. I'll put a link for each of these in the description. Whichever box you like. Hey, go pick it up. Any one of these will work. Any one of these has the things in it you need to catch fish. Depending on what you're fishing for. If you're a live bait fisher, you're looking to catch some small small brim, trout, things like this, this box, perfect. Uh, this box here uh, has a lot of different things in it for a lot of different things. You got your trout lures, you got your bass, small bit, uh, small mouth, large mouth. You don't have much in there for a large mouth, but a lot for smaller fish, definitely this is a nice box. So you're getting your money's worth here. This will catch fish. This box here, uh, definitely more set up for your plastics fishing by far. With the, the plastics included, having the finesse hooks, having the, the right size offset hooks for, for worms. And then still throwing in your, your live bait selection here. Having the right uh, bullet weights in here. Having egg sinkers in here when you've got catfish hooks in here. Very nice. The tackle in here is great, especially with the decent, decent set of bobbers. Not a bad buy either. You're going to get what you need. It will catch fish. So definitely check them out, guys. It's up to you. We appreciate everybody's support watching our videos, and hopefully they've helped you out. Thank you.